Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I wanted to make this video to hopefully have a positive effect on you and help you gain some awareness that I have gained through a recent experience that happened to me two days ago. So we had the Songkra Festival, well, Songkra days going on here, which is the Thai celebration of going into the new year. And during this time, Water's everywhere. People with buckets and water pistol sound systems going crazy. So everywhere you drive, which most people drive on a scooter here, like I do, you get soaked with water. So we went to Thongsala, which is the nearest town to me. They had a big sound system there. They put barriers up to stop people driving through the roads. And we went to go and have some water fun and water play with people. So I have an iPhone XS and someone told me that it is waterproof. So I went and took it with me rather than my big Canon EOS 70D because that's not waterproof whatsoever. I also took my GoPro Hero 7 with me because that's waterproof. Got loads of amazing footage and that vlog will be coming up of what we ate and did in day, both me and my girlfriend Nock and showing you everything we got up to. So yeah, make sure if you want to be notified when that video is up, you click the subscribe button, you click the bell notification button, next subscribe button, Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when that new video gets uploaded or any new ones in the future. And I really recommend that you do subscribe to especially be notified of that vlog that's coming up. It's one of the best vlogs that I've ever made. So back to the topic at hand. So yeah, got loads of amazing footage. And after being there for a while, the phone kept turning off and on. And I wasn't too concerned about, well, I wasn't concerned about it all. I didn't know what was going on. I just thought, okay, it's just messing around. It's having some uh, bug and glitches go on with the software. And then when I got home, it seemed that Face ID wasn't working. Face ID is where you go to unlock the phone instead of using the passcode, it scans your face and unlocks the phone for the person that has a face that scanned their face to unlock it with Face ID. So yeah, that stopped working completely. Then every time I kept using it, it kept turning on and off, on and off. A lot of the things weren't working. It was freezing, crashing, the operating system on it. And I've realized, yeah, some water damage. So yeah, I broke the phone. Hmm. And when looking online, it's actually water resistant, which means it can be in water for a certain amount of time. But yeah, it's not completely waterproof. And yeah, it's a thousand dollar phone, iPhone XS. It costs a lot of money. And at the time, I did feel a bit upset about it. Especially because the night before, I had hardly any sleep because I got bitten by loads of sand flies. I literally had about 30 bites on the back of me and it woke me up in the middle of the night because they were itching so much even without me itching them. So I was in a state where, you know, if you've underslept or done certain other things, the next day you don't feel so good, things can be more emotionally intense for you. So I felt quite upset about it. And I was like, okay, I moved through it. I didn't cry or anything like that, but it was more frustration and a little bit of anger. And so I took it to the shop and they said they could possibly fix it for me. And it's gonna cost quite a bit of money to fix it. But the message I wanna share with you in this, which is the most important bit about this message, is I'm so happy that it happened. You may be thinking, has he lost his mind? Has he gone crazy? Has all that vegan food gone to his head and he's lost the plot? No, not at all. And the simple reason is I spend a lot of time on my phone, as do a lot of people. But what I want to say is, I never scroll through Instagram. I don't follow anyone on Instagram. I never look through Facebook or check notifications. I haven't done these things for years and years and years to optimize my productivity, rather than being a consumer, being as much of a producer as much as I possibly can. And what I found with this phone, it's a very dopamine stimulating phone. And I found it very clever. And if you don't know about dopamine, it's a neurotransmitter that just makes us feel so good, gives us loads of energy, has a load of other positive effects on your physical body and your energy levels and your cognitive functions and your mental health. And we live in a world where there is instant gratification with things that are producing dopamine so much throughout the whole day. So I found since I've had this phone, I use it way more than any other phone that I do. Most time I'm doing productive things, such as replying to YouTube comments, replying to Instagram comments, putting Instagram stories up and so on. But 
even though I'm being really productive, what it has been doing, which I have now become aware of since I haven't had the phone for a while now, is that a lot of time I'm using the phone when I don't really actually need to use it. I could just wait until the next day and do all of the things that I need to when I'm at home on my laptop. So it find, well I found that it just takes me out of the present moment so much so I cannot appreciate exactly what is going on in my life and it actually doesn't make me as mindful and as aware as I possibly can with many things that I need to be mindful and aware of. And it's just a really, really good thing. And I found, since I haven't had my phone, I've been having way better connections with people. And what I would say is when I'm around people, I pretty much never use phones whatsoever. I think it's really, really rude. And it's just making me enjoy life way more. I find, as well, I'm way calmer. Because electricity stimulates the nervous system. Then you've got the dopamine from the screen that produces an abundance of dopamine within our brain and bodies when looking at screen and using these devices. And yeah, it's just been a very positive experience for me to have a lot of self-reflection and see that many times I'm using the phone and it's stimulating me and it's just overstimulating my nervous system, which is not a good thing whatsoever. And it's charging my body with EMFs, which are known as electromagnetic frequencies. And if you don't know about these, these have serious negative effects on your hormone production, neurotransmitter production, your gut microbiome, your digestion, your physical health, and a whole host of other negative effects as well. And I'm someone where my business makes it so I have to use a lot of electronic devices on a regular basis. But now where it's got me to is like, okay, I'm glad that it, got broken the phone so I could become aware of these things and so I can become aware of things that I was not aware of before. So when I do get the phone back and it is repaired, even though it's cost me a lot of money, it's like, oh well, I can just make more money. It's not the end of the world. It's just a physical item and I don't need this attachment to it. It's like, okay, I haven't got a phone. I can't use it. It's going to cost me some money to fix it, but oh well, life goes on. So yeah, by not having access to the phone, I'm spending way less time on electrical devices, which is just so good for my mental health, cognitive health, physical health. Like I said, it's just making me have a way better day as well. And something that I'm noticing is I feel super, super, super calm and relaxed. Normally when I have the phone, I'm like, oh, I need to use the phone for this, that, 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 that. I'm more like a hyperactive ADHD person who always needs something to stimulate me. And yeah, I'm very aware that it's working on my dopamine reward system. And it's just not good because I just have so much temptation to use it when I don't really need to use it. And I found from not having it for this short amount of time, my desire for it is pretty much almost non-existent. But I do notice at certain points throughout the day when I go to do certain things, like go to the toilet, my brain automatically thinks, oh, get my phone, go and use my phone. So it's, yeah, it's very, very interesting how companies work on our dopamine reward system to make us want to use something. And I'm not someone that has a massive issue with addiction around technology because I am using it in a very productive way the majority of the time, I'm not just a consumer that scrolls through Facebook and Instagram and just waste endless amounts of hours just consuming and consuming and consuming. But it's something that, yeah, I was aware of that I have some addiction to because I pretty much lived on electronic devices almost all of my life. I used to be someone that used to game pretty much all hours of the day for many, many, many years and for many years of my whole life. So yeah, it's really good that I've gained the insights that I've gained and I'm really happy that this happened because I wouldn't become aware of this unless my phone got broken. And anything that happens in our life is always happening for a positive and beneficial reason. It's never negative experience or so-called positive experience. Everything just has a silver lining to what is going on for you and you just need to be able to see it but most people won't most people just get angry and frustrated and most people in that situation with the phone they'll be like oh no what am I going to do I haven't got a phone and I have to be present in the moment and I need to find some other distractions to distract me because I have such a severe addiction to it and it's like man it's not good we see so many people in today's world where they're just attached to their phone it's like it's become part of their body 
and it stops us having the best connections from people, the best, happiest life possible. It has so many more negative effects than I could ever explain to you in this video. So I hope that my own experience gets you to gain some awareness around your use with certain electronic devices such as mobile phone. So when I get you back, pretty much all the time, and I talk to my girlfriend about this, that we go out, I'm just gonna leave my phone at home. Or if I take it out of me, I will turn it off and only use it if I absolutely have to use it. But if it's something that could just be put off and I could look later on the day when I come back and use my laptop at home or the next day, then I will do that. So it's just me being as mindful as I possibly can around this. Because what I find is as well, when I'm on electronic devices a lot, it does have a negative effect on my energy levels at some point. It's like coffee, it's like you come up and what goes up must come down. And a lot of time I feel just really charged with EMS, so then I need to ground myself to get rid of the electromagnetic frequencies within my body. And it just doesn't make me feel that great at all when I spend so much time on electronic devices, which I spend hours and hours and hours on my laptop in the morning to do many different things without needing all this other exposure by using a phone at so many times are necessary for me to use it throughout the day. But yeah, I definitely do want my phone back. I'm not gonna get rid of it completely because it comes in handy for certain situations where it would be more than ideal for me to have it, especially if I wanna do things such as Instagram stories or Instagram posts or if I'm out and about and I need to find where a specific location of someone is and I need the maps to show me how to get there then yeah, it's obviously gonna come in handy for those things and way more. But as I mentioned, most of the time, people are using a phone for things that are just not bringing them anything that's helping to improve themselves and their lives and helping better other people's lives in a positive way. And I'm telling you, when you stop using a phone as much as possible and you may take some breaks off of it, do like a phone fast where you don't use a phone for a day or two or a week or so. Yeah, it's gonna make you become aware of so many things, but it's also gonna make you become aware of how much a crutch a phone is for you. So many people are trying to meet connection needs and other needs through their phone and it feels like a lot of time it can make you feel safe and secure and it just distracts you from maybe the internal conflict that is going in, on in your mind and your emotional body. So it's gonna have to get you, what well, it's gonna send you in the direction of having to face certain things that you have been distracting yourself from, from using the phone. So it can be a great thing to use as a self-evolutionary tool by avoiding electronic devices for certain periods of time. And if you haven't been without a phone for quite some time, experiment once a week, don't use a phone whatsoever and see how it changes your life in a positive way and see what comes up with for you. A lot of things it's gonna bring up that you haven't faced that you need to deal with, which a lot of people just say, oh, give me back my phone, I don't wanna face that. So many people just are not trying to improve themselves and their life in the most positive ways that they can and most people do not like to seek discomfort. And by seeking discomfort and being comfortable or being uncomfortable, it's just gonna help you become a better version of yourself and create more of the life that you desire like I've managed to and many other people that don't see discomfort as a negative thing. So sometimes it's difficult, but it's like, bring it on. Give me what you got. I ain't got nothing to fear. I don't wanna be kept in a safety bubble like most people that just wanna be left in their house with their TV and their toaster and their mobile phones and all their other distractions and all these other things that don't bring you internal happiness and fulfillment. And that's not a life for me. It's just not a full life whatsoever. Well, last thing I mentioned is, yeah, when you're not using your phone, loads and loads and loads, it starts to get you to think, oh, what things could I be doing instead with my spare time that would benefit me in a positive way and maybe other people in your life as well? And I'm telling you, so many people, when they're around friends, family members, or even intimate partners, a lot of time they're on their mobile phone, they're not present with them. So it's like just try and connect with people on a deep level as much as you possibly can. And if you can't with the people that you're around because they're people that are not necessarily fully in alignment with you and they don't wanna go deep and be as intimate as possible and really open up and that you can connect with on a deep level, then that's really gonna give you insights into you're around the wrong people. You need to change your 
circle of community, so to speak, of friends, family members, and also intimate partner if you have one. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below. If not, give us a thumbs down. I don't mind, but I prefer thumbs up rather than thumbs down, but either way, it's all good. And please share this video with anyone else you think needs to hear about what I showed you today in regards to my own experience with breaking my $1,000 iPhone XS and why it's actually been a very positive experience. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on specific things such as what is going on in my life, weight loss, calisthenics, intermittent fasting, what I eat and what I do in a day videos, also inspirational and motivational videos, and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you to push yourself to improve yourself and your life and achieve certain goals that you desire, and also teach you effective information that can help you achieve and sustain what you desire to create within your life and yourself. Like I've managed to and many other people that have followed what I share in these types of videos consistently over time to get those results and way more. So if those videos sound good to you, click the subscribe button down below, click the bell notification button, next subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded, as I mentioned earlier on in this video. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.